Hello, my name is Chris Hammond. I'm the director of training here with .NET Nuke Corporation. In this brief video, I'm going to talk to you about how you can remove the login link from a .NET Nuke website, more particularly from a .NET Nuke skin. So we're going to go through and we're going to show you how you can find the link on a page and then where to find that link within the files for your particular skin and for your portal. We'll show you how to edit that file and then how you can actually still log into the .NET Nuke website after you remove the link. So what we're going to do is we're going to navigate over here to a .NET Nuke version 5.6.1 website. Now this particular site has a free skin on it called EcoZany, which you can find at ecozany.codeplex.com. Now you can see in the top right corner of this particular skin, we have a link here for login. Now that login link is embedded within the skin. So what we need to do is we need to find that link within the files and within the file system. Now, typically when you install a skin, the, the skin files are going to be installed into a portals directory of some type. Now, because we're using Microsoft's web matrix for the hosting for this particular .NET Nuke website, I'm going to go over here to web matrix and click on the path option, which will load up the file system for our website. I'm going to then dive into the portals folder. And then from here, I need to choose either the underscore default folder or a number. Now, we only have one portal. It's portal ID zero. If we had multiple, we could choose any of those other ones as well. Now, when you install a skin, depending on where you install it from, either the host extensions menu or the admin extensions menu will determine where that skin is in the file system. Anything installed in the host extensions menu can be found in the underscore default folder. So if we go ahead and dive into that folder, we're going to find a folder called skins, and then we should find a folder called ecozany. Now, we also found minimal extra pain. We'll come back to that one here in a few moments. Now, within the EcoZany skin package, we're going to find a number of ASCX files. Now, the ASCX files are actually the skin themselves. So there's an admin page skin, a home page skin, and an inner page skin. Well, for now, we're just going to go ahead and open up the home page skin. Now, the home page skin is an ASCX file, so I'm going to go ahead and double click on it. Windows is going to prompt me to open the file up. And I'm just going to use Microsoft's notepad in order to open the ASCX file. You can use any sort of HTML editor or development tool you'd like. But when you open that up, what we're going to see within the particular skin is somewhere within that skin will likely have a section that starts with DNN colon login. That is the user control or a reference to the user control for the login control within .NET Nuke. Now what we need to do is we need to just remove that. So I can highlight that section, delete that section, and then go ahead and save the file. If I go ahead and save the file, switch back to my browser, and refresh the home page. So we'll see here on the home page that the login link has gone away. Now there is still a pipe character up there after the register link. We could go ahead and remove that. Now we would also likely want to remove the register link because if we're not allowing people to log in, why would we allow them to register? So we can go back and we can remove the DNN colon user reference. That actually adds in the registration link. So if we simply remove that, and I'll remove the pipe as well, go ahead and save the skin and refresh the page, the register link and that pipe goes away as, as well. Now, the reason we were able to make the change, save the file, and just refresh the website is we were editing the ASCX file directly. So editing the ASCX file removes the information immediately in the, when the page reloads, the skin reloads. Now, if we navigate to a different page on our site, and in my case, I'll just click on the articles link here, which is an, an additional page. Now, when I clicked on the articles link, it takes us to the articles page, but you'll notice that the articles page is not using that EcoZini home skin. The articles page is using the minimal extropy skin, and in more particular, it's using the minimal extropy index skin. You can see there's a register and a login link within that skin as well. So if we go back to our file system, and we go back to the skins folder, we can go into the minimal extropy skin, and I'm going to load up the index skin, which is down towards the bottom. And there's an ASCX file. If I go ahead and double click on that, it's going to load up here in Notepad again. And if I just go ahead and search for DNN colon login, that'll take us down on the page to the login section. Now we can see that the register 
for the DNN user and the DNN login section are both there together. If you want to remove that from the minimal extra piece, extra piece skin, go ahead and delete that, save the file, and if we switch back to our browser, and we can reload the page, and those links should go away. Now, within skins, there may be multiple different skin files, so there's different layouts. Depending on how many different layouts you're using, you may need to edit multiple files. Now that we've removed the login link, how do we log in as an administrator or a host user? Well, the easy way to log into a .NET website if the login link is not provided is to go to the end of the URL and type question mark CTL equal login. And by typing that, you're basically telling .NET Nuke, load the login control. And you can see my URL is articles.aspx, question mark, CTL equal login. If I navigate to the home page and I type in question mark, CTL login, the login control is going to be loaded there as well. So that's the easy way to get logged into a .NET Nuke website if you have removed the login link. Now in future videos, we'll show you how to do more things within skin files. But in the meantime, I'd encourage you to check out our .NET Nuke training page. You can find it under the resources tab on .NET Nuke.com. There you'll find a variety of free videos as well as information about our instructor-led training as well as our custom on-site and online training information. Again, my name is Chris Hammond with .NET Nuke Corporation. Thanks for watching the video.